ever since we adopted Ilana back to her original owner, our Gamma female. We have only three arowana left. This is alpha female. Her name is B. Karina. Donated by Ron and his family. Our good friends from Bradenton, Florida. The beta arowana is over there. It's Sieha. As the older one, she's about nine and a half years old. Unfortunately, like a month ago, something happened overnight and her eye got poked out. At first, I, th I thought it was gonna kill up, but it just, the eye just disappeared. I mean, it couldn't heal. So for a while, there was a big sore there and now there is no eye. No right eye on uh, Sierra anymore. So she's swinging, she's swimming crooked. She had a drop eye in both her eyes, she had a tough life. Eight years she lived in a hundred gallon. And it was pretty thin when, he got, when we got her about a year and a half ago, two years ago. Anyhow, I don't know if you can notice Bicarina, she's got something brownish reddish in her right eye which is also a drop eye and our male is flap who we got from Sean Decker of Fort Myers uh, I want to say seven years ago maybe more Yeah, probably more like eight, eight or nine years ago. Anyhow, just uh, reporting the eye trouble. The Karina had something like, a, it could have been a blood in her eye. Never seen it before with any of our arowana. Blood or uh, anything brown, red in an arowana eye. You see how Siaha is swimming because she's only got one eye and it's a drop eye and that's her her right eye which is missing so she's only got a left eye. Flap also has a left drop eye. It's kind of funny. I don't know if it's coincidence or not. Both Bikarina and Flap have a left drop eye and the right I'm sorry, uh, right drop eye and the left eye is just fine. Flab scared us uh, about half a year ago and he got swollen up pretty bad. I thought it's that swell swelling disease that we get. And he was a gunner, but little by little he got out of it. And even uh, was engaging in mating, mating rituals with the females this summer. Yes, we're talking about you. You're the only male left. Flap is only about three feet. Is more of a runt or more stunted than other our arowana were. We had a couple of males at 42 inches that we lost. Freya and Alf. So that's our little arowana update and the trouble report. I feed Siyaha, well I feed almost all Arwana now by hand because they come up as I'm babying the Cuban gars I feed them by hand so everybody comes up and I feed Arwana by hand and uh, Siyaha of course I have to feed now by hand because she she has trouble grabbing food in the mid column 
even in the mid column, not to speak of the surface. On the surface, she's unable to catch anything because her eye is looking down. The only eye she's got. Yeah, flap looked like a, a bit of a pine cone, like a dropsy. Full body swelling. Everything was swollen. His jaws, his skull, his body. I'm very thankful that some, one way or another, he came back from the brink of death. And I still have no clue what happened, of course. Maybe it was the thiaminase. But I, they do grab new life spectrum giant pellets also when I feed. Maybe they don't grab enough of them. Maybe that was again due to the thiaminase issues. Which would be logical, I, I can't think of anything else. That I could have been doing wrong badly half a year ago. When he got sick. Maybe it was 8 or 10 months ago. Time flies so fast, I, I sometimes badly misjudge the timing. I just fed everybody half an hour ago, everybody got fed. I feed this tank once in four, in four days, so everybody should, everybody's fed and happy. I pretty much fed, fed them all they wanted. Anyhow, Ilana is back with her original owner. We've had her here for, a, I want to say about four years. Three or four years. She made it back, well, not, not with the original owner, but with his, with his friend. In Fort Myers, in his 3,000 gallon tank. His friend David. So Dylan and David, they're friends, and Dylan always often comes to David's house and he can see his Rowana. He, he really, really wanted her back. Closer to where he could see it almost every day. So that's pretty commendable to be in love with your pet, even after you gave it up almost forever. I didn't think he would want it back. But he contacted me saying that his friend has space in his big tank and if I was willing to give it back to them. Well, he, he paid me pretty good money for it too. I mean, he's a real, ni not, real nice guy. Anyhow, that's a little Arowana stories. For somebody these are bedtime stories, for somebody these are morning stories. Some people might see them in the afternoon. <laughs>